Oh, we are at Peacock Candle Making. This is a Tinker Lab Take and Make program. We're really excited about this one. We make candles before, but not as involved as this. So Celeste is on our I've Squared team. I'm Colleen. I'm in charge of the sort of business side of the library, but I get to do creative fun things on the Makerspace Tinker Lab side as well like this. And Celeste is going to take us through. We're going to use Creative Bug, which is one of our databases. It was our featured database of the month last month, and it's a crafting database. So we're going to be watching some videos on how to do this. You have everything in your kits, and Celeste is going to be making it alongside you. So let me introduce Celeste. <laughs> All right. Hi, everyone. How are you? I'm Celeste, and I, like Colleen <laughs> said, I, I work in Ice Square in Tinker Lab. And today we're going to be making something really fun. So we're going to be making um, candles. Um, I think we're going to wait. I would like to wait five more minutes before I actually um, give all the material list and all the um, supplies that we're going to need for this project. So in case that someone else jumps in. And then we're going to start. Any questions? No. <clears throat> I'm going to be doing live shows soon, so that'll be exciting. So this is my first live show. That's awesome. Very oh, cool. Yeah. Okay. Well, definitely show us through the program, like how you guys are doing and what steps you're on and stuff. And we can't wait to see yeah. the final products. <clears throat> and um, I see we have Stephanie and Lori, right? Yeah. You, I just want to mute yourself and say just hi, I'm here. <laughs> and you can also use the chat. Um, it's up hi. to you. And if you have any questions. Sounds good. All right, cool, cool. Um, let's see, I'm going to, while we're making this at some point, be playing music. So if you have like just background music, um, so that while we're all crafting, it's not dead silence. <laughs> so <laughs> if you have music suggestions, put those in the chat, please, because I'm either, I'm gonna be the DJ, so. <laughs> uh, so uh, another question, you guys picked up the uh, Take and Make Kit? You guys all have it? Yeah, I have one. I just wanted to go got it today. <clears throat> oh, nice. Okay. Oh, good. I'm glad because these sold out. So even though we only have a few people on the program, there might be people on Facebook watching or just doing it themselves and watching this later. So yeah, it's nice that you guys came to the live program. We want participants. <laughs> and I reserved it right away because I was having mouth surgery. So I... Ooh, how'd that go? Are you okay? Yeah, I just had a... Um, a... Um, root canal and a filling oh, so okay. that was not fun no that is not fun well hopefully this will be fun <laughs> yeah <laughs> looking can forward to this that came, can i see the teacup that came in your kit yeah i didn't get to see these teacups yet or the so we actually yes so we, we did didn't have these teacups but we actually put these in small containers okay those are cute. and then you can either put a label or if you have a teacup at home that you don't use, you can actually yeah, yeah. give it for a candle. Yeah, and another good tip was they have a lot of teacups and mugs and tins and stuff at Goodwill. So you can always pick up something there if you don't have a teacup. All right, so it's 3.07. What do we think? You want to start now? Whenever everybody's ready, I'm ready. Yes, uh, I think we have someone in the chat waiting to say. OK, perfect. I'll let you know how many people are on Facebook. Let me see. Anyone tuning in? We have one tuning in and we have a little bit of reach and we have two other people that are coming. So I think we can start. Okay, yes, let's do it. Okay, so if everyone picks up the kit, you're gonna have instructions. And um, some of the materials are gonna be the container for the candle. We're going to have some rice flowers with four cents. You're going to have a, a small bag of wax. Mm -hmm. um, the, and you're probably going to have two because either you can put two in the same <laughs> candle. You know how sometimes you um, <clears throat> run a candle and have like three or two weeks in the same candle? You can do yeah. that. Or just use it for an extra candle that like you can make one after on your own. Okay. Um, and you're gonna probably gonna have a little bar, which I don't have, but it's gonna be a little bar where you- Oh, I have a bar. Actually, yes. You're gonna rub 
you're going to put the wick in there. I'm going to use a pencil, which it works the same. Uh, and then other things that you might need, and for this I'm going to give you like few minutes to grab it in case that you don't have it. It's going to be um, probably a little fat. You guys are going to do it now, right? Like everyone. Um, I have just a measuring cup. Um, and then this is optional. I just took a little piece and I'm going to show you. It's just a crayon. And this is kind of to put color in your candle. Uh, you're going to see that in the video, it's going to say, and actually I, um, I agree with this as well. If you want a really organic candle, um, don't, don't use the coloring. But if you want to just put a little bit of color, um, I think it would be nice. And in my case, I want to do it because I have um, like lavender, I think, or like a purple mm -hmm. flower. Yes. yes. So oh I want to actually make it purple. Okay. Um, and I think that's all we need. There's a thermometer, but I don't have one. Is that okay? That's fine. I don't have one either. So that's totally fine. <laughs> We're going to just wait until the, until the wax is all melt. Okay. Oh, we've got another participant coming in, Kate from Make Haven. Hey, hey. <laughs> hey. How's it going? So I'm assuming everyone is in the kitchen, and we're going to be making candles. I'm not, because I don't have a kitchen. I don't have a kit. But that's because I have to watch the screen and make sure people come in and everything. So I'll uh, make it on my own. Heaven. Hi, Kate. Hey. Um, How you doing? Yeah, I'm, I'm not at home, um, but I have a quick question. But you have a kitchen. <laughs> I have a kitchen um, but I'm going to have to hop off because I got, I got stuck in something else, but I wanted to ask you guys a question and hopefully you didn't already go over it. Um, but I did, I, I watched the video and one of the things I was curious about is when you're doing like a double boiler or something like that, um, like I, I saw they use like a glass thing and I'm like, is that then going to be covered in wax? Should I use something that I don't want to use for food or, or like, uh, yeah, that's a really good question. So I'm actually going to use, this is up to you, but I'm going to use a measuring cup that is for food. I'm going to make sure that it's washed very well after for like to use it for food later. And if I really see that it doesn't like come off, I'm going to just like use it for crafts. So, yeah. yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. I saw they were using spoons and I was like, I may want to use like wooden I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I would say Dawn is probably the most powerful thing I use for cleaning. So try that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I assumed like heating it up using very hot water, or even heating up a little more to try to get it, it will off. Yeah, it will come off. Even like sometimes when you use, um, you have candles that they're already like out and you want to use a glass for something else. Usually when you clean it really well or you melt a little bit or warm it up, it comes up. So that's good. You don't want to poison anyone, so good. No, question. and also this <laughs> wax that we got is organic, so it's not gonna be any issues right, with right. like um chemicals or things like that. All right, so I'm gonna now share the screen and I'm gonna show you uh the program from Creative Bag, which is like nine, ten minutes. We're gonna watch it all together first. And then we're gonna do the candle again, like together. So don't worry about doing the candle right now. If you feel to start, you can, but you don't have to. You, you can watch the video, make sure you have all your materials and stuff that you need together. And then we're gonna jump in and do it together, step mm -hmm. by step. We're gonna okay. do it as an overview so we all have an idea of what order things go in and what it'll look like at the end. So okay. I think it'll be, all right. it'll be good. All right. All right, so let's go. Uh, happy table. Oh, I have, can you make oh, me I have to make you host, again? yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Make host, yeah. Okay. Thank you. All right, so down, down, and then share. I don't have a measuring cup, is that okay? That's okay, yeah. I, I can tell you how many spoons we use. Okay, so now. Okay, so everyone sees the screen from um, Creative Bag right now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. All right, so let's go. I 
don't think we can hear it. I can't hear it. I can't hear it either. Okay. You can hear? Okay. So let me make That's sure. Um, let me make sure the sound is correct. Okay. Uh, so you went to um, set microphone. So share, you go to share screen and it should be able to give you share. the option of, of sharing the music as well. Okay. Or the sound. And also just make sure it's not muted on the page too. Yes. Okay, let's try again. Hi everybody, it's Faith Room Creative Bug. Welcome back to our Tuesday and Thursday Creative Bug Lives where we craft um, the coolest crafts on the internet, in my opinion. I particularly love this one because I love teacups, but I don't like drinking out of them. That's probably how Courtney likes using fabric, but not for sewing. I like using teacups, but not for their intended purpose. Um, and I have a fairly large teacup collection for a non-teacup drinker. And so I definitely um, know what I'm going to be doing to my teacups. I'm going to be filling them with molten wax. It'll be like um, the Middle Ages. The wax you're going to use is a soy wax. Now, just to warn you, this is um, a five pound bag. And when I saw it on Amazon, it looked really tiny. And so I thought, well, I'll get two five pound bags. And now I, I don't have enough space at my desk for all this wax. So, um, so be forewarned, um, but five pounds of wax will make you at least a dozen teacup size candles. And for each teacup worth, you'll need um, twice the proportion. So I'm going to use this as a scoop, and I'm going to take two scoops of my wax. And you'll place it into a double boiler. I'm using a measuring cup set in a pot of water. And you'll want this on medium high heat or medium if you have a tendency to forget things, or high heat if you are a really aggressive stirrer and trust yourself to pay attention for a full 10 minutes, which is about how long it takes to melt this entirely. Um, you can let it rest, but stir it around every few minutes. Um, it'll take a while for it to look like it's dissolving at all, and then suddenly it happens all at once. And while you're waiting for it to melt, you're going to want to clean out of the inside of your teacup using Windex. Um, this is to prevent if there's any oils or dust or debris, then it'll really help the wax adhere to the sides. I've noticed in some examples I've made where I haven't cleaned it as thoroughly, the wax kind of pulls away from the edge and then it makes it look amateurish. And I want this to look like a, a pro teacup candle. Also, if you want to adhere it to the base, you'd need to use an epoxy. Um, super glue is not gonna work, and hot glue is probably not gonna be as long lasting as an epoxy would. I like to um, just keep it separately for its versatility. Also, don't forget we are live, so if you have any questions, I love to hear them, or if you are a teacup aficionado, or a tea lover, or a candle. I mean, you know, I just wanna hear I just want to hear from you. It's great. Um, so now we're going to glue the wicks down to the bottom of the teacup. And you, I tried to let them kind of freewheel it, but then they did. They went fully willy-nilly. And so you're going to want to use hot glue to glue down your wick. These are pre-made wicks. I prefer these to just the string. I like that they have these little metal bottoms. And you want to give yourself a dollop of hot glue. Press it right down to the middle. If you do end up reusing the teacup, it makes it kind of easy to pick off, which wouldn't necessarily be the case if you were using a different kind of glue. And then you're gonna want to secure it in the middle. So you can either do this by wrapping it around a pencil, or a trick I like is lining up two pieces of tape and sandwiching the wick in between the pieces of tape. 
All right, Faith, I have a question. You were talking about how much you love soy wax. Can you tell the folks at home why soy wax? The, Allie is obviously the best moderator in the world, and she asks the question, um, why soy wax? I, um, I'm pretty new to candling, and I did not realize how fantastic soy wax actually is. It's a lot more natural than um, paraffin wax, which is actually a petroleum byproduct, and it's a lot less expensive than beeswax and a lot easier to come by. So soy wax is a natural product. This is grown in the United States, and it produces far much less soot, and it burns for twice as long. So in my mind, it's a no-brainer. I don't know why you even would bother with paraffin wax when you can access soy wax. Thank you so much, Allie. Great question. So once we have let our wax melt, which this most definitely isn't, but my secret wax stash is melted, um, You'll want it to sit at room temperature for about 10 to 15 minutes. The reason why is because we'll be adding essential oils and some essential oils break down at higher temperatures. And so to avoid, um, to avoid messing up our oils, we'll be waiting for it to cool before we add the oils. Now here is my lavender oil from Joanne. That's a pure essential oil. I also, this one is from Muji, it's Refresh. And um, we actually use this in some of the diffusers around the office, so if you, um, if you love Creative Bug and you want a full sensual experience, uh, pick up the Muji blend, the Refresh blend. <laughs> so we're gonna use about 10 drops. I'd say 10 drops is perfect for your average teacup. If you're going a little bit bigger, you have a big mug, do 12 um, and increase proportionally. I'm dropping it in. Sometimes it goes fast, so three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There. See, it was kind of fast. And then stir it gently. It smells so good. I do feel refreshed. And also, the it's going to smell more. Um, when the candle is burning than when the candle is just solid. So if you, you've made it and you smell your candle and you're like, oh man, that doesn't smell as delicious as I thought it was, burn it first and then um, decide whether you want to be disappointed or not. You won't be, I don't think. So now we're going to carefully pour this into our teacup. And it looks a little bit yellowy, but I assure you it will dry clear. And I'm gonna give myself about a quarter of an inch lip. All right, we have another question. Valerie is asking, since there isn't an actual essential oil for lilac, are the candle scents any good? Valerie asks, since there isn't an essential oil scent for lavender, are the fragrance scents any lilac. for lilac? Yes. Oh, I thought you said uh, yes for lilac. Oh, I think that should work just fine. Um, if especially if you look at the label and if it's, I mean, if it doesn't say um, don't, if it says don't burn it, I wouldn't suggest using it in your candle. Um, but I think that, that lilac should work just fine. That would smell amazing too and look so perfect in a teacup. We had a lilac bush over um, this little, ugh, I'm getting all nostalgic, this, this um, playhouse my dad had made me and there was a lilac bush and like, and I had tea parties in there. The, now I know the next scent I need to make for my next teacup candle, it has to be lilac. Though our nanny was allergic to it and it gave her a rash on her face. So let me show you. So now we need to let it sit for 24 hours before you burn it. Don't even bother touching it. I know you're gonna to want to, it's so cute. But here, this will work better. Here is one I've already made. And this one, just for reference, um, this one was made earlier today. And I used the pencil technique versus the tape technique, and it worked really well. And you're going to want to trim your candle to a quarter of an inch. You're always going to want to trim your candle to a quarter of an inch before you burn it every single time, even the candles that you don't make, even paraffin candles, your good old fashioned Yankee candles. You will trim to a quarter of an inch before you burn it. And one final tip for 
candle hygiene, candles of all kinds, the first time you burn your candle, you should make sure that the wax and the entire surface is melted. So if you just burn it for a little bit and blow it out, it'll tunnel down. And if you let it burn for too long, it'll it'll start melting the sides. So if, if you care for your, if, think of it like a pet. Your candle pet needs to be trimmed and appropriately set on fire. Don't set your pets on fire. <laughs> Um, we also do have a special offer. And we have questions. Oh, us. and we do have questions. Yes. Thank you, Hallie. Of course. So, Phil is asking, can you use food coloring to color the candles? Phil is asking, hi, Phil. Thanks for joining us. Um, if we can use food coloring to color the candles. I believe so. Um, my research indicates that everybody else generally believes so. Um, but I don't think... Um, I, I kind of I like the white teacup candles because when it's a different color, then I wonder what strange beverage is in my teacup. Um, but yes, food coloring should be just fine. Especially, um, I think it's a little bit better than non-food coloring. Great question. And then, do you want to tell folks at home about our offer? Yes, of course. If you're just joining us for the first time, welcome aboard. We have so much fun here, obviously. Um, we make many more things than teacup candles. We knit, and we sew, and we bake, and we rip things up, and we smash things down, and it's just um, the best 20 minutes of my week. Please join us at creativebug.com slash joanne1. That gets you one month free access to our entire website and 30% off your purchase at Joanne, which you can find um, these wicks and some wax and some scents, everything you need except for the teacups. And for that, maybe, um, maybe grandma's got a stash. Maybe you've got a box in the basement that nobody's using. Um, I am so glad you joined us. But we have more questions. But we have more questions. So we Goodness stay. gracious. We can, we can stay a little longer. Great. Okay, so first I wanted to talk about some of the comments about using a crayon. We have some comments about using yeah. crayons. Do you color the wax? Yes. Do people... Like people have suggested using crayons. People have suggested using crayons for the wax, which I agree is a good idea, but it does make me a little nervous, right? I mean, I definitely ate them as a child, and um, they, didn't, they didn't taste that great. So I suppose you could use crayons to, uh, for, to color your wax. I have seen people do that. I personally wouldn't because I'm a little hippy-dippy, natural style like that. But thank you for the suggestion. Next question is more of a comment. Mm -hmm. Doris says, be careful. Some of these natural oils can be toxic to cats and small animals when burnt. And since you're a cat lover, yes. do you know any of those oils? Doris says, be careful, some of these oils can be harmful to cats and pets if burnt. She's absolutely right. Um, the ones I've used are 100% food safe. There's actually a kind of long list of oils that should be avoided for children and animals. Um, the list is a little bit longer than I could tell you now, but I definitely suggest taking um, Doris's suggestion and looking into any oil blends you decide to use so that you're not poisoning your pets or children. Next question comes from Deborah, and she is wondering how many hours does one of those teacups burn? Deborah is wondering how many hours do these teacups burn? You're going to be flabbergasted by the answer. About 24 hours um, for these teacups because they're, well, okay, this teacup maybe would be closer to 20. So this fine gentleman, um, this is be about 22 hours, and this may be 20, but I, I think that this, this guy would go for about 22. So it's a bit longer than you'd assume. Um, they're really nice, long-burning candles. They're a good investment. All right. Any questions? If we don't have any more questions, um, thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you again on Thursday. Uh, you're the best. Um, so if you have a library card, you can use Creative Act for free. 
Yes. The way you access it, we've been highlighting this last month, but you might not have seen it. The way you access it, you actually, you can't just go to Creative Bug. You need to show that you're coming from the library. So you go to nhfpl.org. You go to our electronic resources under resources and Creative Bug will have a link right at the top and that will show the connection to us and you just make an account with your email. You don't even need your library card number and then you get access to all these crafting videos and it's amazing. Yes, so like she said, and there's amazing videos and you can, some of them are longer, some of them they're more uh, classes. So you can take it step by step um, and are really, really nice. I love them. Wow. And we have All a right. paint one, we have a painting one that was based coming on Creative up. Bug that's coming up in October, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, yes. cool. <laughs> All right. We can hear you, Julie. I think Julie wanted to say something. All right, I let her know in the chat okay. if she has a question, just to unmute. <laughs> okay, excuse me. All right, so we're gonna start by boiling the, and I'm gonna put my screen a little bit there. Um, I have put water, some water on my pot, and I'm gonna turn it like medium hot. Would you say you have about halfway, like half water? Um, a little bit less than halfway, just a little bit, all right? Just be careful, I know. I'm assuming everyone is an adult. <laughs> um, okay, so this is the way we're gonna do it with the wig, or with the wax, I'm sorry. So you can actually use the cup that we're gonna be using actually for the candle. And then, because we're gonna have about 10 minutes, we can wash it really well and make sure that it's clean. Um, and your packages should be a little bit more than the, these two cups. And just me, like you can fill it up not all the way through, maybe just, a quarter less, all right? So grab your little bag and fill it up. Hello? Now we can hear you. So oh, this is one. I'm, I'm from East Haven, so can I still do it? Yes. <laughs> oh, as okay. long as you have a library card and you're going through, it won't even ask you for your library card. It's just you're going through our website. So for now, the way we have it set up, yes, you can. Okay. Okay. So I'm using a little cup. Oh, I'm going to throw a little bit there. But it should look like something like this. You all can see it. And now what I want to do is I'm going to put it in the water. Okay, so if you actually use your cup where you're going to put the candle, you can wash it. If you do have a tea cup, you can um, just use the tea cup. And we're going to do the wick. All right, so let me just rinse this really quick. Any questions? We have someone on Facebook Live saying hi. So Cece, hi. I think we accidentally deleted your hi, but we're gonna write back hi. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. We had like a few few seconds off, right, in Facebook? All how, right. How can I do the, uh, the wit? Because I don't have a measuring cup. All right. Oh, the, the, you mean the wax or the wick? The wax, I mean. Do you have any other container where you can put the wax and melt it there? Maybe not. Do you have a glass jar or jug of some sort that would fit in your, like it has to be glass because it's going to be hot. Um, like it can't if be you, plastic. Yeah, if you like made before like I don't know, like something like if you eat pickles or men, like jam or something like that in the fridge, mm -mm. maybe. Do you have any glass coffee coffee mugs or anything? Like a, We don't like drink a, coffee. Oh, so you don't have like a mug for tea or a mug for a drink? 
Nope. No. Okay. So what you're going to need if you want to continue doing this, you do need a container that can heat up in water. So, um, I mean, if you have any other pot, little pot that fits inside a bigger pot. Oh, if you, yeah, if you have a small pot that can fit inside a big pot, that would work. Oh, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let us know if you can find something. I hope you can. Okay, thank you. Yeah. All right, so just keep an eye here. It's going to take, like she said, about um, 10 minutes. And in the meantime, we're going to put the wick in the candle. So I don't have glue gun either. Um, I do have a little bit of, you can actually use if you want a little bit of the other wax, like more extra wax that you have and put it in the bottom and maybe warm it up a little bit with your hands and stick it in the, in the container. So that will be another option. Or glue if you have. Can you show us up on the screen what you're yes. doing with the wax? Yes, so I'm just grabbing a little piece of wax and I'm gonna stick it in the, this here, okay, on the middle ring, okay, yeah, and then I'm gonna press it in the in my container in the middle of the bottom, okay, in the middle of the bottom, yeah, and hopefully it fits, and then just press, and yeah, it stays. Okay, so in your case, you're gonna use the metal bar. I put in all the keys. I'm gonna use the pencil technique. And I'm going to just make sure that it stays in the middle. So you can actually let me uh, bend this a little bit down so you can see me. We have a suggestion for Julie on Facebook. If you have a can, like a can of noodles or a can of some sort, um, like soup, that you can dump the contents out into, you can also use a can. I found something. Oh, good. Okay, glad. Perfect. Okay, so if you use a pencil, you want to just wrap the wick like this, so it stays there in the middle, all right? And then we're gonna cut this later, so don't worry about if it's like hanging out or anything like that. Um, okay, so a lot of you, I actually didn't put stamps on these kits like she was mentioning, but everyone has one package, just like this. So you can actually use it just as much as you want. Like if you want to put a lot of, you can put maybe a little bit in the bottom and then we're going to put the wax inside little by little and then maybe you do another layer of the flowers and then maybe at the end if you want to stick some in the, on, on top. Yeah, I like the candles I've seen that have them sticking out on top a little bit. It gives it color yeah. and yeah. It gives it's it really color pretty. and actually like it's like really pretty. Yeah. Okay. So we're just waiting for this. Um, if you want to open your package and see how it smells. How hot should you put the wax at? A hot? Yeah. Just, just medium hot. So is it, it's not boiling, is what it's you said. It's not boiling, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And if for some reason it starts to boil, just turn it down a little bit. Okay. So you don't have a lot of bubbles going on in your kitchen. All right. All right, while everyone's doing this, do you want me to find some music to give it a little bit of time? Because I know we have to wait like another five minutes. Yes, of course. That would yeah? be awesome. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if we're going to be able to hear it, so I'm going to do it on my phone like last time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Can see me there? Mm Oh my God, this smells so good. What do you uh, guys have, get? What other flavors are there? I know Lori works at the library. Lori, what flavor or um, smell do you have? You can let us know in the chat. Or Stephanie. <laughs> Celeste, do you remember what ones you put in the bags? So we had a lot of them. There were like oh. maybe 12 different flavors. Okay. Um, so I just mix them up. Yeah. But I was making sure that everyone got a, a package. Yeah. So if you actually like this project, you can make later more. Um, Where did also, you get the flowers? 
We actually got them in Amazon. Amazon, okay. Do you uh, just search dry flowers or? Yeah. Okay. For candle making and soap making. So just to give you a heads up, in two weeks, Friday the 25th, we're going to be doing the soap making. And if yeah, you have soap any making, that's yeah. going to be so fun too. So yeah. if you have any leftovers, you can actually use these flowers as well. That's awesome. Yes. Um, the other thing is that for this, for the soap making, we're not going to use the, the stove. We're actually going to use a microwave, which is a little bit safer, I would say. Uh, so you can use that instead. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to check my... Oh, it's working. Hold on, see me here. Stephanie I... says stress relief fragrance, which is a great idea. Mm -hmm. That's what uh, lavender is, correct? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so... Again, this is optional. You don't have to do it. Uh, if you have food coloring or you have a little piece of crayon and you feel like putting some color on it, go ahead. I just have a little piece. And I think I'm going to use a knife to cut this. Because it's not that. Plus, I like the color of your kitchen. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a mess. Uh, I was making sure these corners look good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, perfect. Sorry about that. I'm going to show you now how it looks. It's coloring. So I just, again, I have a little piece of crayon, I cut it up, and I'm going to put it here. And I'm going to keep mixing. So how how melted is yours right now? Is it about halfway? It's halfway already, yes. Halfway, okay. Uh, actually, yes, halfway. And how do you um, know when it's all the way melted? It just seems like flat? Yes, just liquid, like a heavy liquid. It's just heavy liquid, okay. I, I, feel like we're making, I feel like we're making potions in Harry Potter right now. <laughs> wow, it's turning purple. Okay, so for my candle, I'm going to use some flowers on the bottom. So this is again optional, you can do it. I'm going to show you here how it looks. Sorry about it, man. Okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna put some flowers on the bottom. Not many, but just some. And keep an eye on your boiling pot because if it's boiling, you might wanna turn it down a little bit. Okay. Celeste, where were you able to get the tins if people wanna get a tin? Um, say it again, get a what? The tin canister. Where were you able to get those? Oh, I'm sorry. So those also Amazon. Those were Amazon as well. Okay, yeah. awesome. But like, um, um, I forgot her name, but like the lady of the creative bag, you can mm -hmm. actually get a lot of stuff in Michael's or John's. Or even like Costco has like yes. tons of stuff. Mm -hmm. Like if you want to make bulk orders of these things. <laughs> yes, exactly. Okay, everyone can see me there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me find some music. All right, so it's like a small ball inside now. I wish I can show you. And I shouldn't be touching it, but I'm actually, like, I wanted to get that now. So it's like, ah, uh, I keep touching it, but you don't, you, you don't need to touch it. Like, <laughs> you can leave it alone for sure to touch it. <laughs> This is really fun. Any plans for that kid? I can hear it, yes. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> this is called Whistle Song by AJMW. 
Thanks. Okay. So I will say after it's completely melt, we just gonna wait a few minutes, like two or three minutes, but no more because we actually have flowers instead of the oils. So we mm. don't need to. Oh, we don't want to burn the flowers. I like it. Yes. It looks great, Julie. Yeah, so be careful not to burn the flowers. You want it all to be correct? You want it not to be Yeah, like, but we don't want to burn the flowers. So, I mean, we can wait just- to protect it? Yeah, we can wait three minutes and then just be very, very careful. We can pour the, the wax inside. Okay, cool. Julie, what color, what kind of flower did you get? If she comes back. <laughs> Which kind? Oh, you're um, muted. Like, it's red? I don't know what I got. Oh, it's like a red pink? Yeah. Cool. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. And if you have grabbers, I will take Use it so you don't get burned or anything. Is that the one you got from my dad's store? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, I think it's gonna be too a little bit here for what I need right now. Okay, it's almost. All right, we'll take two more minutes and we I'm okay. When you start seeing the smoke come up, do you just put the fan on or is that a bad sign? Um, you mean the, the, the fan here? Yeah, like if the smoke is coming up, that's okay, right? Oh no, this smell is fine. Yeah, okay. doesn't have any like a strong smell or anything. Okay. All right, almost there, almost there. I have a bad stove as it is, so that's why you're going to see some smoke. Oh, okay. As long as your <laughs> alarm doesn't go off. <laughs> I should put in more flowers. So. Okay. Yeah. I have some, I don't know how to make candles very well, but I have some candles. Actually, I'll go get one. It has like sticks on the outside of it. Meh, I don't have to show you, but it's, it's like, you poured the flowers and the sticks in and it sort of created a pattern on the outside. It was cool. So I'm excited to see the, the flowers sticking up and how it looks. All right, so my wax is all set. When I'm on Where is everyone else? Like, is everyone else, is your wax kind of all set? Let us know if you're still behind a little bit in the chat. And I can wait a few minutes, yes. And we can wait. And okay. Uh, yeah. So what I'm going to do is for me, I'm gonna turn off the so, turn it off. Um, I'm going to just wait a few seconds and then I'm going to just grab the cup from inside the pot and put it on the side for just another two minutes, maybe. Okay. And if you can show us the top of it so we know what the top looks yeah. like when it's done. But I want to show you. Oh, it's a cool color. I like yes. it. Yes, actually, it's just a little bit of cry and make a lot, like made a lot of color. Really yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I'm leave it on this side. So it's more liquid than it is solid. Yes, that's correct. Because it's going to it's going to dry sort of, and like once it's less hot, it'll get solid. Mine's still like solid. Okay. So oh, yeah, just wait a few minutes. Just need to wait a little more. Yeah. You can eat. Are you there, Colleen? I think she got frozen. Julie, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, so if Colleen, she got frozen. Okay. 
All right. So I don't know, uh, Stephanie, Lori, how you guys doing? Like I said, mine's more solid than it is liquid. Yeah, no, just you just need to wait. Just a few minutes. Can I show you mine? And you yes, tell of me? Course. It looks like that. Yes, so just wait. You put it, uh, um, so, so you had to put it inside another uh, pot of water. Like it's not going- oh, I put water in there? No, not in the wax. So this one pot goes inside the other pot with water. Oh. Yeah, so I, I don't know how it will work if you just put it in the, in the like the burn and just burn it. Like just warm it up from there. So I need to put water in another pot. With yeah, but it has to be a bigger pot. Another pot that is gonna fit. The little, the little pot is gonna fit in the bigger pot. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And then it will become water. And you I won't have to wait because yours is kind of melted. You won't have to wait 10 minutes. You can wait less time. I get it, I get it, I get it. All right, Bye. and for everybody else, I don't wanna, um, I don't want my wax to get hard, but what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna a little bit hard, but I'm gonna still use this. I'm gonna, um, everyone can see me, I'm gonna put the wax inside my candle. Mm -hmm. And the thing that I'm going to do is, because I have flowers inside, I'm gonna just turn it and I'm gonna add it from the other side so my flowers doesn't move. And if they move around, I'm sure you can take another pencil or a fork or a knife and try and get them to spread yeah. out. Yeah. Um, okay, I put like kind of halfway already. And before I complete everything, I'm gonna add a little bit more flowers. You also, um, I don't wanna uh, run out of time, but if you wanna wait, Let's say you did a layer of the wax and then you wait a few minutes until this candle gets a little bit harder, then you can put more of the wax. So like layers. Make sure. Oh, yeah, I so see what you mean now. I see what okay. you mean. I get Got it. it. I'm glad we figured that out. I'm glad that we didn't wait too long. <laughs> Colleen, we always have that issue. I know. It's always like something goes wrong every time. <laughs> That's yeah, much better. That's there much you go. Better. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We have listening issues. <laughs> okay. So now when I put it in the in the can what happens in the pot what so once you have it in the pot it's gonna just melt you're gonna see you that. gotta wait for it to melt till it looks like all one color and all all like flat so it doesn't look piecey and then you're gonna pour it into your tin yeah and then what happens and then once it's all melt you're gonna turn off the fire of the, the stove and then you're gonna wait maybe three, four minutes, and then extra careful, you're gonna pour the wax inside your candle. And then how long okay. do you have to wait? I think she's asking till it's till it's done. Like Completely another done, couple hours. Like couple hours. It's okay. complete. Yes. That's not bad. Which is why, since we won't be able to see everyone's candles, if you guys have social media and you do post it, please tag NHFPL because uh, we really want to see everyone's finished products and we won't be able to live, unfortunately. Right. Or Julie, if you just want us to post it, you can always, to anyone, you guys can email it to us. We have, um, you, I'll put my email in the chat. Okay. All right, so for my last layer, I'm gonna- Lori to says, this is awesome. Thank you, Lori. <laughs> yeah, this is fun. I wish I could see you, Lori. 
<laughs> All right, so. I'll do the, um, the next class, definitely. Good, we're glad. This is getting a lot, the, the take and makes are getting a lot of attention now that people know we're doing them. So we're really excited and we're trying to come up with fun ideas. All right, and I shall see Rory in Facebook. So I wanna say hi to Rory too. Hi, Rory. I see Maria Fernanda in Facebook. Mm. Oh, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> like family. I know, it, it reminds me a lot of uh, coming back when we were open. I know. And it's actually kind of getting together and then the more we do it, it's getting like nice. I love it. I know. It's like, it's like our family. Yes. Yeah. It's really fun, yeah. And we do, we miss you going fun programs with you. <laughs> I miss doing those projects, Colleen, that we always did together and oh stuff. Oh my gosh, I know. I was I, looking at I was one. looking at I was looking at that towel the other day going, oh yeah. my gosh, remember when we did that? And we... I know. We were doing, you were doing a whole craft craft show. So <laughs> we'll, we'll get back to that one day. I miss it. I know. That's right, what it I'm is. Gonna, that's one more flower. <laughs> that's why maker spaces are so fun because it's just the one place you can go for free and craft and do things like this. So, I know. Uh, that's what we're trying to do with the take and makes. It was great. It replicate right. that feeling. So we're glad you I'm like gonna, it. Let's see yeah. If we have any Definitely sign me up for anything. I'm going to show you awesome. how my candle looks. We have we're trying to find um, um, good topics for, uh, for Halloween time. Ooh. And if you guys have any ideas and you guys want to share with us, please, like, go ahead and share with us any ideas. Like, if you want to see more of, I'm not candles, or if you want to see more painting, or you want to see more sewing, like, just let us know. Is that looking good now? Yes. There's a lot going. Yeah. But it's right, getting so there. I'm going to show you how my candle looks. And I'm going to give you three more minutes if you have any questions. And then we're going to say bye. And have a great, yeah, great weekend. Yeah. <laughs> so let me show you how it looks. <laughs> I don't want to touch it, actually. So I'm going to try to put the camera closer. Can you see it? Yes. I and see it looks it. like jelly.